Hi, I'm Dr. Peters with Peters Wellness Chiropractic and Massage. This week's quick video, I like to discuss the topic of dietary fats. What I mean by that are the trans fats, the saturated fats, the monounsaturated fats, and the polyunsaturated fats. You know, there's a lot of confusion when it comes to fat, and I'm not sure I have some ideas on where the confusion comes from, but some of the literature I'm reading right now um, talking about dietary um, and for, for weightlifting and people gaining muscle versus people losing weight. And you look at some of the information that's out there and one book will totally disagree with another book. And you're looking at it going, you know, this is coming from people in positions of authority and they're totally disagreeing with each other on things that they've done studies on. And it, it seems so strange that you can have this conflict, you know, back the Atkins diet, the protein diet, and then we have the paleo and all these different things that are out there. And one of the things I've been reading about a lot is the ketogenic diet. And then you look at taking a ketogenic diet versus doing an exogenous type ketone. So there's so much out there. So don't feel frustrated. Well, don't be angry if you're um, confused on it because the people of authority are countering each other and they're saying opposite things. So real quick, the four quick things I want to cover today, just to keep it real simple. And then this week's Optimal Health University talks about it more in depth. And of course you can Google and start doing your own research and send me any questions you might have to Peters Wellness, or what is it, drpeters at peterswellness.com. So number one, trans fats. Okay, just remember trans fats, I think everybody knows this, they agree across the board, trans fats are bad for you. So stay away from trans fats, okay? Number one, if you see trans fats, so that's hydrogenated, partially hydrogenated. So stay away from that, okay? Number two, saturated fats, that's your meat and dairy. And this is one where there's a lot of that back and forth. Just know saturated fats are meat and dairy. And now that's, there's going to be a lot of arguing on either side on whether it's good for you or bad for you. Does it raise your cholesterol? Just know that saturated fats are from meat and dairy. Monounsaturated fats are your plant-based. And I think most people are going to agree that monounsaturated fats are very good for you. Okay? So monounsaturated fats are your plant-based. Now, polyunsaturated fats are your seeds, your nuts, plants, and fish. Okay, I am huge on fish oil. I can't remember the author. Uh, he's an MD, wrote the book. Um, but it was all about DHA, you know, dihexanoic acid, and just talking about DHA alone, not even talking about EPA. Those are the two parts of the fish oil that really give us the benefit. And after reading that book, I take four tablespoons a day. Now, again, if someone's on blood thinners, Okay, you can't just say, hey, fish oils are good for you. Well, they are, but if you're taking blood thinners, you gotta be careful, because fish oil is a natural way to thin that blood, but it's, it's not something that can necessarily be regulated as well, so some of the products on the market may not be as good. I use the Neutrogen product line. If you go to Neutrogen.com and put in you know, my name, if you order from, you can only order from them if you put someone in, or I carry it here in the office, but that just regarding the fish oil. So. Trans fats, saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, and polyunsaturated fats. Get the polyunsaturated fats and the monounsaturated fats in your diet. I love taking the fish oils. Um, one thing I just added recently is the MCT oil. Um, that is your medium chain triglyceride oils. Um, I, just, I actually just bought mine on Amazon. There's different ones out there. But I, I'm even adding, I was looking at the Bulletproof coffee, so I'm putting... Um, I don't really like adding all the other stuff to the coffee, but I just, I add the MCT oil to my espresso in the morning and uh, I'm absolutely loving that. So um, I just wanted to get this information out to everybody, try to resolve some of the confusion, understanding at least what the categories are and reach out to me if you have specific questions. Again, that's drpeters at peterswellness.com or you can put something on the Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you see this information. So have an awesome week and remember, load up with your polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats and depending on what you're reading, what your goals are, uh, those saturated fats can also have a lot of good health benefits. Have a great week.